are just perfect for picking. And the reason why I'm picking them is because I want to have a go at making a traditional hit of vitamin C. And I want to make some rose hip syrup. It's a little eccentric to be cooking out here. But the truth is, the Berryfield kitchen is tiny. It gets two people in it at best. So I couldn't fit you all in, so I've brought it all outside. Now, once you've got your water on the boil, and if you have a pound of rose hips, you're going to need about a pint and a half of water, you need to start mashing these up. You can do it in a food processor, but I am just going to do it with a knife. And also, all this hair that's coming out inside, all this juice, this is where all the vitamin C is. But it also has these tiny hairs which make itching powder. So, let's just say this isn't the most pleasant part of the job. This is a traditional recipe from the Ministry of Food, and it was brought out in the Second World War when they realised that they needed to get hold of a good source of vitamin C because they couldn't get oranges into the country. And what they found was rose hips had up to 20 times more vitamin C than an orange. So the whole country went mad, and there was a pamphlet called Hedgerow Harvest, which told you how to make your rose hip syrup. So once the hips have come to the boil, remove them from the heat and let them sit for around 15 minutes. You then need to strain the mixture through a jelly bag. I've used an old pillowcase in the past and sterilised it by ironing. The strained mixture then goes back into the pan with three quarters of a pint of boiling water. You let this sit for another 10 minutes and then strain again. This is important as it gets rid of the sharp hairs. After that, you bring the mixture back to the boil and reduce it to about half. Now add roughly a quarter of a pound of sugar and simmer into a syrup, stirring occasionally. If you want to give the full Ministry of Food recipe a try, then go to our website. My favourite way of eating it at the moment is on porridge first thing in the morning, but it's equally good over ice cream and pancakes.